On this week's show, I've got Rise of the Tomb Raider PS4 info, a release date for Xbox One S, and details on the guy who mastered Pokemon Go. Welcome back to GND Weekly. I'm Andrea Renee for Gamer Next Door. This is your weekly dose of gaming news. And there wasn't like a whole lot going on this week, which I'm kind of grateful for because San Diego Comic Con is happening this weekend. I don't know if you guys are planning on going or catching all the coverage on Twitter and YouTube, but uh, I do have some gaming news, so let's get to it. Let's start with those details on that new edition of Rides of the Tomb Raider. Square Enix announced the Xbox One console exclusive game will be heading to PlayStation on October 11th in the 20 20- year celebration edition. This new version includes all the released DLC plus a new story chapter called Blood Ties. It will let players explore Croft Manor whose ownership is being contested by Lara's uncle, which somehow ends with a zombie invasion called Lara's Nightmare. And even more interesting, it has a VR support because yeah, I want zombies in VR. No, no, I don't want that at all. This special edition of the game will also include online endurance co-op gameplay, extreme survivor difficulty mode, new outfits, weapons, and expedition cards. If you own the game on PC or Xbox One and you bought the season pass, good news, you get all of this new content for free, it's just included. And if you guys haven't played it yet, I highly recommend it. And now that it's on both consoles and PC, you really don't have an excuse. Just go out and play it, have a good time. Up next, Xbox has announced the release date of the Xbox One S. The new, slimmer, sleeker console is set to debut on August 2nd, just in time for my birthday. Who wants to buy me an Xbox One S for my birthday? No one? Okay, fine, I'll buy it myself. Priced at $399, the two terabyte version will launch in select territories, including the US, UK, Canada, New Zealand, and most of Europe. Xbox said the launch edition will have limited quantities, so if you want it right away, you probably should get a pre-order in. But you can also wait. The smaller versions, the 500 gigabyte and the one terabyte version, are expected to launch sometime later this fall. Moving on, Pokemon Go is still going crazy, so much so that I made a video on a poke crawl that happened here in San Francisco. That video is coming for you guys early next week, but right now I've got some news, some big news. Somebody has captured all the Pokemon. Well, all the Pokemon in North America, I should say. A Reddit user by the name of FTB Hodor claims to be the first Pokemon Go master completing the North American Pokedex. According to Polygon, he walked over 153 kilometers or roughly 95 miles. That's a long way. In just over two weeks to catch 142 Pokemon. He caught a total of 4,629 Pokemon and also hatched 303 eggs, with his final catch being Omanai, which he promptly evolved into Omastar. But he is still missing nine elusive pocket monsters. He's missing Farfetch'd, Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and of course, Ditto, Mewtwo, and Mew, which no one has really got those last six, and the first three are supposed to be region locked, meaning you can only get them on specific continents. Uh, I hope that's not the case. Um, Going forward, we know that Niantic is working on a trading system, so hopefully people from other countries will be able to trade those so you can fill out your Pokedex without having to buy a plane ticket. But traveling and seeing the world and collecting Pokemon is kind of a win-win, so you might want to consider it. Because I had such a great time on the Poke Crawl here in San Francisco, I wanted to feature a tweet I got about the crawl. This comes from at Duck Helmet, and he asked, why is it that people dressed up in goofy costumes always can bust out awesome little dances? Now that's a great question. So I saw this Ash and Pikachu cosplayers on the street during the Poke Crawl, and as soon as they saw each other, they immediately started dancing to the Pokemon theme song, which was awesome. We got the whole thing on video, and you guys can check that out when the piece launches early next week um, but I don't know why they started dancing but he had some great moves and we had a great time on the poker crawl so thank you so much for your tweet don't forget you can tweet to me at Andrea Renee with that hashtag GND weekly and that's it for today's show